drag along. The teacher that we had to sh like she if we liked it, um, he showed us this game and then. Okay, so you've already yeah. seen Sheep Herder. Yeah. All right. Like first of all, you see this oh, word yeah. void, void, and then something kind of comes after the word void. So this is a a function. And then you would have these brackets, and then these funny little curly brackets. And in here, we would tell it to do something. Yeah. So this is kind of the basic structure of a function. And what a function is, is it's essentially a block of code that we can store some instructions in and reuse them in different parts of our program setup. And we're... So do you remember that special word that comes at the start of a function? Void. Void. And we'll get it? more detail. Yep. So we'll start with void. You have the two curly brackets. I guess. Just like that. Very good. So inside of those curly brackets now is where we're actually going to define our code. So we should press enter here and kind of open up some space in between them. What do we do with these ones? Um, we're not going to do anything with those ones. Um, we will see in the future how we can do stuff with those. But for now, we just want to leave them empty. Do I put space between them? Um, you don't have to. You can if you want to, if, if it's... Um, more readable or if it makes sense to you that way. Right. But, so what do you think the size is doing? Making it bigger or smaller. Right, but more specifically, the, there's Have, two numbers. So why are there two numbers? One is this way, one is that way. Exactly. So it's your width and your height. Two. Mm. Right, so four divided by two is two. Oh. And six divided by two is three. Three. And let's bring our zero down. So mm -hmm. 640 divided by 2. Now let's look over here. So what's 8 divided by 2? 4. 4. And 4 divided by 2? 2. 2. two. Yeah. So 240. So these numbers here, 320 and 240, those are half. And therefore, that, that puts the circle in the center of our screen. I'm not and then add this semicolon at the end. Yep. That's what happens. Yay! All right, so now we've got a nice circle that has its own color. Awesome.